Everybody is an artist, and I will teach you today how to paint this little painting in three little steps. Step number one, you take round brush number three or five and take yellow and red. First you put the uh, brush in red and then point into the pink or white or yellow and then do this uh, motions. First, we do the flowers and then with a little uh, brush, we take, we do these little strokes uh, with black paint. Same with second flower and third. Do the round shape. You can use razor of the pencil or the point tool for the nails. And the fourth flower we repeat. First point to the red and to the yellow or pink or white and with brush number one we take step number two we do the stems of the flowers and the leaves main color is green and then on the point we Put some yellow or white paint and do these nice little leaves like that. Uh, I like the thickness of the paint, it's just so enjoyable, so much fun. I put some green and then yellow. You can repeat even every every stroke. You can repeat it. Put in green. Put in yellow. Here I just made this fast little sketch to show you the basics. And the next video is gonna be more thorough explanations how to use that how to put your hand because this uh, this time i was standing and putting uh, the strokes uh, with the hand hanging in the air it's not the the most convenient way uh, the most convenient way it's when your hand from your elbow is also on the table So, how you do that, you can see that um, you put your brush number three or, or number five, depends on the size of the painting, and you put it in the green and then in yellow, the point in yellow. And so, you, if you want to, you can start with the, the pressing the brush and then going up or if you want to do from narrow to thick and then to narrow again so you do point you're pressing the brush and when you're taking the brush out of the paper you're raising the hand again using the tool for the nails to do the little dots so the first step was flowers second we do the leaves 
and stems. And the third step is the uh, we're doing the little little things, little stems. just to fill fill in the space so some little strokes on the leaves with the black yes, and after the black strokes we again can take uh, any round rubber thing and to, to do the dots but first we'll do the some little little strokes to fill in the space with the green little so you you just take the little brush usually, usually number one or even zero even smaller the uh, brush you take the finer the lines were gonna be so the you start with the point you're you're pressing if you want to finish with thick flower or the grassy you just raise your hand you, uh, just right away if you want to finish with the thin point of the grass you just press and then you go up and to make it uh, funnier see how I do I'm trying not to do the just straight lines all of the lines should go like dynamically they should go in a curve they have, they have to follow the composition they have to be in a, in a motion they all have to go right or left or in a circle here again I take the the razor of the pencil and just put all these nice little berries here or cherries whatever you want you can put whatever you want because you are an artist it's your space you decide what to put there it's your world and in your world everything's possible whatever you want right your berries your flowers your grass see you just put your grass whatever whenever or whatever you want just to fill up fill up the space but you never do the grass on the edges bigger than the grass inside or elements inside. So the basics of the composition is your flowers or your main figures should be the bigger, the biggest. And uh, everything big is always on the bottom of the composition and of course you never forget to sign your picture right because who knows maybe one day it will worth millions of dollars so just sign it everybody knew that it was you it was your picture. Value it.
it's a nice uh, present for everybody. This was the Petri Kivka painting. I hope you enjoyed. Beautiful. Beautiful.